What's going on guys, Andrew Pillick Hockey here back again with another video. Just wanted to give a quick update here, of course. I've got the 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 background that's not usually how my videos are anymore. I've I've switched to a more uh professional looking setup, but for now because this is a quick update, I thought I would do it like this. TJ Brody, finally a defenseman that can play with Morgan Riley that's defensively sound. Now, I know what a lot of people are going to come and comment. He's a left-handed shot. Now, that does not matter. He's a left shot defenseman that plays on the right side, so he will be playing on the right side of the Leafs lineup at the top with Morgan Riley. Uh, they signed him for a $5 million AAV, so $5 million for the next four seasons, so that's a very good contract. I know this take like technically takes the Leafs out of Petrangelo not technically it definitely does um, but he plays the right side left-handed shot and uh, it bolsters the Leafs lineup uh, a lot they they needed a guy that could play in the top four and uh, that was that was very good defensively you know he he's very good at you know limiting shots on goal he's you know he'll take away the puck he's smart uh, I know there's some Calgary fans that weren't huge fans of him uh, towards the end there because uh, for some reason they just you know weren't a big fan of him uh, I'm not really sure if they just wanted to go in a different direction um, but uh, I, I seem to you know read and look into charts uh, when I have the time and he looks like he's pretty damn good and Toronto really needs that and I've and I've obviously watched TJ Brody quite a bit I like to watch the late games usually they're on at 10 or 10 30 uh, you know, after those long days and you just want to watch hockey, I used to watch a lot of Flames hockey uh, in the last few years. And uh, it's it's just, I just think he makes sense. This is a contract that makes sense for the Leafs. Last year, uh, I'm going to actually, first of all, I'll tell you, he's 6'1", 185 pounds. So again, not on like the shorter side, pretty pretty tall and on skates. He's obviously going to gain a couple inches there as well. Um, so 64 games played, he had 19 points the season before he had 34 points in 79 games played, but the Leafs are not signing this guy to, to put up big points. You know, if he gets anywhere in the 30 point range, they'll be, they'll be very happy with that. They want him to come in here and play top four minutes and play with Morgan Riley. So currently the Leafs blue line would look like Morgan Riley paired um, with TJ Brody and then you'll have Jake Muzzin currently playing with Justin Hall but I could see them exploring a move to get a better top four guy and move out money like Andreas Janssen and Justin Hall uh, you might have Travis Dermott because they gave him a qualifying offer on that bottom pairing with Leitonen or or Leitonen could be playing in the top four with Jake Muzzin I, I would imagine they don't want to do that uh, but we'll have to see maybe Leitonen plays with Morgan Riley and and Brody plays with Muzzin it's all up in the air. Apparently, uh, there, there's some people saying that Lettinen could be way better than expectations or he's just as he's being advertised as, you know, a guy that's going to come in and put up some some decent numbers for the Leafs and play, uh, you know, a sound defensive game. Not too crazy. Like, he's not a defensive wizard. But again, this is about TJ Brody, not Lettinen. I'm just getting excited thinking about uh, the potential pairings and lineup options for the Leafs. But I am very excited that the Leafs are finally getting a guy that can play that defensive style of game. Uh, and, and please, uh, if if I were you guys, just go on Twitter, uh, look up TJ Brody's name, go to like verified sources or people that talk about analytics all the time, and they will explain in depth. And I want to make another video on this going into this season, you know, seeing the, the complete Leafs lineup. Uh, and, and I want to look at how they've improved defensively. And that will include guys like TJ Brody because... Again, he's just sound defensively. The guy knows how to play the game properly. But back to my point, go to Twitter, um, search up you know, some charts and stuff like that. Look at verified uh, sources that deal with these types of things. And it'll show uh, that he makes a lot of sense for their lineup and uh, that he's pretty sound defensively. There's, there's a lot of very, very, very respectful numbers uh, in those charts. And again, it's not all about analytics. It's not all about, you know, these deep dives into into big numbers. But uh, what you have to understand is those numbers are what's displayed on the ice. Uh, and he's he's done a good job. The eye test, it, it works. I, I, li I like him at, with just the eye test. But the analytics show uh, as well that he's going to give you what 
what the Leafs have been looking for. And that's a guy that can just play defense. He would automatically become the best partner that Riley's had maybe in forever. <laughs> uh, he, he, you know, Jake Gardner was a, was a good partner for Morgan Riley just based off of their dynamic in terms of scoring ability. But in terms of having a, a solid pair, uh, this is a guy that makes a ton of sense for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And I'm glad that they went out there and got TJ Brody. Uh, again, 40 years, $5 million per. So uh, if you're looking at just the dollars, I think that it's a pretty pretty good deal. There's been some guys that you've been worried uh, will get overpaid, but you're essentially replacing Tyson Berry with a guy, or Tyson Berry or Cody Cece, take a pick. You're, you're replacing both of them with Lettinen and Brody, which to me seems like a pretty significant upgrade. Lettinen's better than Cody Cece, and... Uh, Brody's better than Barry in terms of what the Leafs actually need and that's just a guy that can play solid defensively so let me know what you guys think about this uh TJ Brody is a Maple Leaf 40 years five million dollars uh per if you are new to this channel check out other videos uh and subscribe I appreciate you guys peace